hi in this video we are going to cover on uh, sometimes you may have specified a uh, task where you want to convert a five axis toolpath into a four axis toolpath actually for example this kind of uh, profile you may have encountered and uh, when you create and if you post processor it and uh, the post processor file won't allow you to uh, create the nc program it may terminate it actually the reason why is it contains five axis actually so five axis movements so let us see the example and uh, how to overcome for that actually so in this case uh, i am going to select a projection line finishing strategy again as previous video and uh, i'm going to select the tool for that so in this case i'm uh, selecting my style as spiral okay then my location of the cylinder actually because it's a line projection it is going to create a cylindrical preview frame okay so what is meant by that preview frame i told you earlier videos so this is your cylindrical preview frame actually okay so my location is 0 0 0 because my uh, cylinder is exactly placed at the center of the axis of the 3d model and my elevation is 90 degree you may change and uh, you can try it accordingly so you can see that this is the thing it will come if you give zero elevation angle but i want 90 preview okay and at the same time if you go to the pattern and uh, you can have option to limit the start and end point actually so in this case i start 0 mm here and i want to end 200 mm here actually so maybe if you want slightly down maybe 190 like that you can preview it you can see that it it will stop until here okay so this is the preview frame okay now under the tool axis so sometimes you may encounter in uh, creating the tool path using lead lean actually because different profiles we may use different tool axis uh, when you are using this and your lead lean is 0 0 and your uh, mode is contact normal okay contact normal means uh, normal to the surface wherever you select or perpendicular to that particular point actually okay let us create the tool path and see uh, how it will work so i created this okay now you can come in the front you can see some uh, motions like this it is fine but uh, if you select any anywhere in the point to simulate it and uh, if you select the machine tool and say i will home position 0 so this is my zero position and uh, this is your uh, c axis okay um, and this is your a axis okay uh, that means fifth these are two rotary axis either e, this may be a or this may be c like that so let us see and how it will work so if you go here you can see other than le three linear axis there are two rotary axis is working here actually so this is your a axis as i said and this is your c axis okay instead of e you can consider as c and you can see that uh, there is two rotary motion is taking at a place actually and also you can see in this uh, video also the simulation you can see it is tilting in either angle uh, c and you can see somewhat a is tilting here and there actually let me stop this now if you post processor this actually so i just rename it as um 5 to 4 axis okay so now i am going to uh, create the nc program for this go to settings and i'm selecting uh, a four axis uh, post processor here so i have a mitsubishi 8 m84 axis and uh, if you write this actually and you can able to encounter this same problem here because you can see that post processor broken actually the reason why is you can read it from here actually so the tool direction can't reach actually because you are post processor configured to four axis but it consider other uh, rotary axis also coming into the picture so how to overcome this situation using the same tool axis it's a very simple one we can convert this five axis movement into a a uh, four axis by using some clicks here actually so if you go to the tool axis page 
you have option called tool axis limits under this if you go into this one and you can change uh, as i do it actually so you change to move tool axis and if you have a mtd file you can use this option so that you can able to control that uh, five axis movement also you can have if you have this if you do not have select the manual option and you have to create a work plane so this work plane is if you see this the z axis is uh, if uh, let me i switch off my draw transform okay so the z axis is uh, pointing uh, towards the cylindrical axis z axis is pointing towards the cylindrical axis so this is your cylindrical axis actually so still more if you go to the tool axis okay and if you switch on this okay so you have the cylindrical axis here actually okay this is your cylindrical axis so you have to create a work plane uh, where your z should be aligned to that axis okay so that's the work plane you need it so that work plane you are going to select here okay this is your second uh, the tool path you can see that i'm hiding that one uh, switch on off you can that you have to select here and make sure you have to project to plane actually okay project to plane means it will project to this particular work plane okay that means converting into a four axis actually so if you calculate the same tool path i'm not changing anything other than this because i'm i want to convert this into a four axis it's a five axis tool path now so now uh, if i simulate it go to home position and you can able to create a tool path like this so now you can see there is no axis a axis movement here so only a c x rotary movement here so now i'm going to uh, write this rewrite the nc program now now it will automatically give the nc program because it does have only one rotary axis three linear axis and you can able to post it 